Today I'm going to show you how you can distress edges of materials within 3ds Max. Blends, curvatures and mix maps, what does it all mean and how does that help you become a better 3D artist? You're about to find out. We're going to start in a studio scene. If you don't know how to make a studio scene then check out the link in the description. And all I've done is bring in a piece of furniture from Chaos Cosmos and zoom in to a section so we can really see this effect in action. So distressing works like this, you get an object, you paint it and then you sand off the edges and it comes out with this distressed look. And we're going to use materials to do this. So let's open up our material editor, just press M on the keyboard. And I'm just going to use the eyedropper to grab the material that's currently on our object. And this is the wood we're going to be focusing on. So what I'm going to do is just grab all of those, hold shift and make a copy. And let's plug this copy into our multi-sub. And I want to make this look painted. I'm just going to add a color correction. Plug that into our diffuse. And in the color correction, let's just change the color. Also gonna make it a little bit lighter in the gamma. We can see we have kind of painted this object. But now we wanna show the original material underneath. So for this, we're gonna use a blend material. So if I right click materials, V-Ray and V-Ray blend, let's plug our original wood into the base and hit instance. And we're gonna put our blue wood into coat one. And if we take a look at this material, we can see that it's a 50-50 blend of the two materials together. And the reason for this is it's blending based on this color. So if I make it all the way black, it's gonna be the original color. If I make it all the way white, it's gonna be this blue color. So I'm gonna put that on black and I'm actually gonna use a map in here. It's gonna be a general and it'll be a bitmap. And I'm gonna use this distress texture, which looks something like this. You could also use a procedural if you wanted. And now we have that in our blend amount. Let's plug that into our multi-sub, hit interactive render, and we can see that now we have the distress showing through. And we can customize this some more. If we want more distress, then we can up the tiling. So we can put it on two. Or if you wanted to stretch out the distress, you can put it on one and then two and it's going to stretch. So that's cool, but we want to dictate where the stress is happening. And this is usually going to be on the edges. And in previous videos, we've used data channels and additional plugins, but I believe the method I'm about to show you is probably the best yet. For this, we're going to use a V-Ray curvature map. This texture is similar to the V-Ray dirt map and is really useful for detecting mesh curvature. So we can right click in the slate editor and go to V-Ray and V-Ray Curvature. And if we plug this into the blend amount instead and run an interactive, we should now see the blue coming through on the edges. So we actually want these the other way around. Back in our material editor, if we drag and drop this, the blue wood onto the other wood, we can hit swap and it's gonna swap them over. So let's take a look at this curvature map. We can turn the output color up to five and that's going to make the wood come through even more. And if we want to tighten this up, we can use the scale. So if we bring the scale down to, let's say, 0.1, it's going to be really tight on the edges. So playing with these two settings is how we can dictate where the stress will be. So you can play with these and play with the scale. So let's put it on 0.2. Um, this curvature map is based on the model. So if you've got a really big model or a really small model, you're going to have to play with these settings a little bit. So that's cool, we have our edges mapped using the curvature and we have our distress dictating the distress, but now we need to mix the two and we can do this through a mix map. No, a mixed map. Let's right click, create a map, a general and choose mix. And if we plug the mix into the blend amount, you'll see that we have black and white. Black is gonna be blue and if I put that all the way to 100, this is then gonna become the base wood. So if we actually plug in our curvature to the mix amount, which is here, we'll see it's acting exactly the same as before. But now for the magic, if we plug in our distress map, we can see that it's gonna change slightly. But what we need to be aware of is that black is not gonna show and white will show. So we actually need to invert this map. An easy way to do that is just inside the map, invert it. And voila, we now have the distressed effect only affecting the edges of our object. So we can see it slightly here, but we're gonna wanna pump it up. So we can definitely add more repeats to add more distressed sections. 
and we can also customize the curvature. So we could bring the scale up to 0.5 for instance, and you can crank up the max output color. So just have a play in here, see what you come up with. So I've got tons more on this subject. So if there's something you want to learn about, then drop me a message in the comments. And if you like this video, then like this video.